What would you say the ratio is actually? Okay, can I give you okay? Brown people, Asian people, black people, <laughs> white people. Like there's like barely any white people, which I don't understand, but like the ratio to like brown to anybody else is crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is, it's Milkman. Right now we're at Centennial College and we're gonna find out what students wish they knew before coming here. So this goes out to my all-nighter gang. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. So I'm here with Melissa, Winnie, Prashana, Jada, Chastity, Keith. My name is Lee. Chantel. Anoop. Kayla. <laughs> Victoria. Michaela. Eliza. So Eliza, what year are you in? Uh, first year. Are you sure? It took you a while <laughs> to think about that. Yeah, I'm in first year. I'm in first year. <laughs> okay. So the question is, what's one thing you wish you knew before coming to Centennial College? So I thought, you know, people would have thought, like, you know, deodorant would have been used in the school. But it's okay, though. I guess it's life's a learning lesson. <laughs> So no one uses deodorant here? I mean, it's a 50-50, you know? How do you determine who does? Oh, you oh yeah, you oh, smell you that a mile away. The travel, <laughs> it travels. The moment you walk in a building and you know people are not cleanly. I wish I really understood how big of a space this school takes up because you really have to like go up a path and it's in like the middle of nowhere and then there's like a whole other building across the street. So I wish I really understood, like, it's a big school. Got you. Are you saying that because you're a shorty? <laughs> I would have told myself to look at all the professors. Some of my teachers, man, they can't teach. They really can't teach. I mean, certain professors are good. But, like, some of them, I'm going to be honest, they can't speak English well. So I'm just confused half the time. So it's, it's just a struggle understanding what they're saying. There's a lot of brown people here, so maybe more of like a variety of people would have been like, that's just something I just didn't know when I came here. I spoke to a couple students and they said, you know, it's a very, it's very populated by Indian students here, right? Do you find it's the same way? 100% bro, just look around, everybody's fucking brown. I feel, I don't feel like a minority, but it's just, there's not much of my kind here. You know, I found a couple, but that's just all I see, you know? <laughs> and it's just hard to, you know, like really enjoy my time here when my people are, <laughs> my people are not here. So Centennial, fix up. Okay, so you're looking for diversity? Yeah. Specifically, uh, what, what type of cultures are you looking for? <laughs> Anything but that. I don't know. There's just way too many. Right? What would you say the ratio is actually? Okay, can I give you? Okay. Brown people, Asian people, black people, <laughs> white people. Like, there's like barely any white people, which I don't understand, but like the ratio to like brown to anybody else is crazy. So, huh, you didn't do your research before you came to Santa? Uh, I've heard a lot, but I, when I came here, it was like, wow, they weren't lying. Um, I wish I knew how hard this was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, chill, you know, get to chill with my friends, but the schoolwork is slapping me in the face right now, so I wish I knew how hard it was going to be. And what are you taking? Uh, child and youth care. So it's pretty like pretty light course, but you get a lot of work, so it's like, yeah, yeah. Is it the workload, or are you just distracted by all the women in your class? Um... <laughs> I just focus on my books. I don't pay attention to the women. I just get my stuff done. So no women, no distractions. The school doesn't have like a map or they don't have people to walk around with you. Like, do you not have friends at this school that you could, you know, show you around? No. Oh, she gave me the, eye, <laughs> I don't, the eyelash battery. I don't really like, I don't business, you know. Like, I just came to school, do my work, and then leave. Got you. You're focused. Yeah. What are you taking? Event management. Event, Event management. Yeah. Special event management, yeah. Honestly, I wish I just, like, I got some advice from someone to tell me to stay one year back and just do my university course and just go to uni. Even though you um, get OSAP, I feel like it's still not enough. Like, there's unnecessary things that we need to pay for all the time. And it's like, for the people that don't have a job, it's, it's hard. But wait, let's be real. Did you really spend your OSAP on your tuition? 
<laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Took you a while to answer that. <laughs> to be honest, I've been like looking at my friend's works, like like in uni, and I was just like, it's almost similar work to like what I do in college. It's just like I get more hands-on work, but like going to uni gets me a higher position as a job. I don't know. I'm just like really confused, but like I feel like I'd rather go to uni. I wish I knew that the food lock off at like three o'clock. Um, I've been to Subway like all week. I keep missing it. I guess that's just that's stressful too. Yeah, there's like no food. There's like no food around here. So wait, for the people who only know Queens English, when you say food lock off, <laughs> you gotta break that down. All the stores are closed around 3 p.m. On campus. On campus. All the food stores. All the food stores. Okay, so what do you do? Just fast after three? I mean, like you gotta travel down to STC and get like McDonald's or something. You gotta pay bus fare to get food. It's just expensive. Off the camera, you were telling me it was very easy for you to transition here. They made the process easy, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's so easy because I think it's within two weeks I have an offer from them. Yeah, after I send them any my any my re, uh, my marks from the last school I take attended before, mm -hmm. so it's so easy. They take it easy, fast, and understandable for me because I'm a new student. Yeah, I'm an international student, so this is my first time in foreign in foreign country. So it's so easy. This school I like I appreciate and I recommend them for any student. Um, I would say the food options like it's not the best like. No one's gonna want to eat Subway every day. Pizza, pizza. The poutine place is giving everyone run belly. Like it's just not it. Like you know, that would be it for me. So what would you like to see here? Cheesecake Factory. Okay, that's. I don't know if everyone has that budget, but like that would be nice. But she's know. getting OSAP and she's not spending it on tuition. So. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you get OSAP, um, they pay for the tuition first. The rest of it, I used it for textbooks, okay? So where are you from, though? Yeah, I'm from Vietnam, yep. So did they send you your letter in Vietnamese? Yep. It's so quick, just me. Yeah, it's so quick. It's really quick. So, like, like everybody, like, quick things, right? We don't want to, like, waste so much of time waiting for someone, like, uh, for one month or two months or even a half of a year. So with two weeks, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's really good. And you like your program and everything is good? Yes, I like my program. Of course, my program is computer system technology networking. So it's, it makes money for me, right? So I really like it. And the teacher and the courses, the class is, yeah, very okay. Like, it's a lot of old people. Like, a lot. So there's a lot of old heads? Yes, a lot of old people. Like, 30s and older. No offense. But like. <laughs> Hey, it's never too old to get an education. Facts. Right? <laughs> Facts. And you're passing judgment. Facts. A little bit. I mean, I did too. I mean, I can't say anything about judgment. <laughs> but you said you want you want to see a lot of people that you like. like I expect the kids like my age and like around my age, not like 56 or like 47, you know. This guy said 56. <laughs> Who's 56 here? In my last class, there was like a bunch of people like 50-something. I was like the youngest out of like by 20 years. So hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to have a little uh, conversation here. How do you know the ages? Is it, are these the ages of the people that are chopping you? No, oh. ill, ill. <laughs> ew. I don't even look at them. I'm like, nope. But it was like women and like other guys in my class, they're like old, like older than my mom. My mom's like 38, so they were just old. And it's just weird. Did your mom just going back to school? My mom's not going back to school. <laughs> Would you judge her? Would you judge her though? <laughs> A little bit. No, <laughs> So if you could choose one uni that you could have gone to instead of go going here, which one would it have been? Yeah, to be honest, also I'm learning a lesson about that. I wish I moved away because my parents are kind of like, yo, when are you coming home? When are you coming home? You know? Yeah. So I wish I, I like went out of town, did my own thing, you know, and came back. So first would have been Mac, McMaster, and then second would have been like Western. For someone coming in, how could they prepare for this? What's one thing that they could do? You just got to look into like the professors, like uh, what's that website called? Rate my yeah, Rate My Professor. Just look into all the professors you're going to have. See how they teach, see how other people rate them. And where are you from? What's your background? Um, I'm actually born from here, but my parents are from Sri Lanka. And I, I was born in Scarborough, but raised in Markham. Venicum? Thanks a lot, man. So there you have it, y'all. Everything you need to know about Centennial College. Listen, in my excitement to get this video done, I totally forgot to record the outro. 
that's my bad y'all so in the meantime i'm gonna hit y'all up with some beautiful scenery but anyways is there something that we missed you know maybe you went to this school and you have some information some tea you need to drop for us so in the meantime leave your comments in the comment box like subscribe and you know i'm off this easy fam don't think Centennial is a bad school yeah. to go to because the program that we're all in, I think that we all enjoy the program that we're in. And, like, we're happy that we came to Centennial because if we went to, like, George Brown, Humber, like, I know every school does stuff differently, but, like, the program that we're in, Child and Youth Care, like, we don't have any tests or exams. Mind you, yeah. we have a lot of assignments, but, like, we don't have to stress about studying for tests and exams. So when you guys are all doing your tests and exams, we'll be out partying. We'll be out having fun. So, so we got four party animals then? Oh, we didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs>